Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. This is just a quick video tonight, um, just showing you how to make some wicked poached pears with a hidden filling. Ah, uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Alright then guys, so just a kind of quickish uh, recipe tonight. Um, I was in the supermarket a minute ago and I saw these pears and they looked at me, it was kind of like oh, in a slow motion, kind of like a movie where they see the romantic thing, you're like, oh my god. Uh, I saw these things, they're called rocker, like that, rocker pears like that. And what we're going to do is stuff them with some apricots. Uh, I've got some apricot halves right here into uh, this chopper thing. Let's just uh, whack them in while you're here. In fact, you know, might as well do it while you're here. Uh, let's get the lid on like this. Do, 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 do. Whiz them up. Okay, so with those apricots whirled up, and how cool was that? We just literally jumped straight into doing that, and it's a little bit inconsiderate at the same time, so hit pause on a video and uh, write all these ingredients down. Uh, we've got some chopped hazelnuts there. I'm not actually gonna roast them, but you can if you want. I've uh, got some honey, I've got some wine, I've got some cinnamon, I've got some mascarpone cheese. And what we're effectively gonna do is stuff the bum um, off the pears and we'll, like, wedge it up there with some cheese and some uh, apricot. You, you're gonna love it, so uh, let's keep going. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is get my apricot chopped up bits out of my uh, chopper thing. Obviously, if you haven't got one of those, you can just go nee, 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 and it'll take you ages. <sighs> okay, so as a general rule, one apricot per pear should be fine. And now I'm just spooning two big spoonfuls of my cheese. I'm going to stir that through. Oh, yeah. Okay, so once that's all mixed together, grab some honey. You're going to need some later on as well. But just squirt that in. About a tablespoon of that. Oh, my goodness. This is um, acacia honey, which is supposed to be good for getting rid of colds and particularly uh, man flu. If you're a man, you suffer from that pretty badly. I feel your pain. I feel your pain. Uh, a little sprinkling of cinnamon, maybe a teaspoon of that. And just a trickle of wine. I'm gonna... Yeah, that's wine. Just a little, little drop of that in there. Just like half a teaspoon. And mix that all together until you're happy with that flavour combination. Stir in face. Yeah. Okay, so with the mixture all combined like so, have a cheeky little taste. In fact, I'll have another one right here. It's so good. I'm loving that. I could just literally just have a spoon and eat that. But we need to move on. We're going to look at our pears right now. Not look at them as in just going to look at it. We're actually going to do stuff with it. Okay, so with your pears, uh, first thing you need to do is actually take the sticker off and uh, put it on your nose if you want it. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually get an apple corer and work it through. I'm going to core it as far up as I can and pull out that central bit, but I'm going to leave the stem, okay? So just pull that out and uh, we get the stuff it then. Okay, so once you've cored out your pear, like so, you might be able to see there's a bit of an outer ring there. And speaking of the outer ring, uh, there it is. Uh, it goes on there like that. What I did was basically cut it flush so it will stand up. Like that, all good, huh? And what you want to do is keep that little bottom part, just a teeny weeny bit of that, to act as a cork to hold in your filling. Okay, so this is a bit where we need to work quite fast, okay? So what we're going to do is skin our pears, okay? We're going to grab a peeler and just get them off. And the minute you take that skin off, it's kind of like an apple, it will start to go brown. So you can use lemon juice to get around that, or you can just be pretty fast, which is what I'm going to do, okay? So we're going to skin it, and then spoon our filling in to the bottoms of them, and then cork them, and sit them on a tray like that. We're just gonna do it. Let's go. Okay, so we skin them, and then we fill them, and then we cork them like that, look at that. So you can wipe off the excess if you want, or just be rough and hardcore like me, and sit it, boom, in your tray like that. So do that to all of your peaches. Well, not peaches, are they? They're pears. All right, so with your pears done, whack them in the oven initially, like so. We are gonna get them out in a bit. We just gotta make a funky base for them using some of the same ingredients we already used already. Works out well, doesn't it? <laughs> Righty ho, so while those pears are in there, you need to make your base, and as soon as your base is done, you pull the pears out, pour it over, and then you keep pouring it until you're happy, really. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get some honey in there, around about a tablespoon of honey, like so. Uh, this is some wine, let me just check. It's still wine. Oh! Uh, let's get about three tablespoons of that in there. Oh yeah. And again, cinnamon. So about a teaspoon of that in there, Oh my goodness, now just grab a wooden spoon like this and just whiz it all around. Oh yeah. So once you're happy with your mixture, pour it into a jug like so, and then we pour it on our pears. All right, Wicked, hopefully you can see by the oven door and the oven gloves that I've just taken them out of the oven, quite warm already. So what we're gonna do is just drizzle that sauce on the top for the minute. Oh my goodness. Make sure you get all of the pears nice and coated. 
Right here, my friends, it's been 15 minutes, and what I'm doing, in fact, if you look, they are starting to go a little brown, and the cinnamon is wedged on there very, very finely. But what I'm doing, the, the actual juice down the bottom here, I'm just brushing it all over again. So do that maybe two or three times while it's in the oven, periodically, as and when, back in there, until they're nice and golden brown, and starting to squish up, baby. And we'll serve it with some ice cream and some nuts and honey. <sighs> Okay, so after a breathtaking 35 minutes, cha chung check out the colour on those pears. Looking darn good. No seepage as well, the cork has held the bum of the pear very nicely. Uh, so we've got some ice cream, some extra honey and some nuts there. Just going to sprinkle that over the top on a flunky plate, like this. So uh, let's see what it tastes like. <laughs> Alright, let's grab a plate. Wicked, and we'll grab one of our pears now. Look at that, delightful on its own, but it needs some company. So let's hit it up with some ice cream, some honey, some nuts, and some of that residual juice, like this. There we go, that's all on there, and I'm just sprinkling it with the nuts there. So I've got some syrup, and that mixture has combined all on there like so. And that, my friends, is looking darn good. Can't wait to eat that, my friends. Wicked! Right here then, folks, apologies if this video's been a little bit short and punchy, kind of like a midget boxer, but I wanted to just get this done, I was just, I'm fantasizing about it, so I'm really happy about it. The smell is amazing. They're nice and soft and yummy, and I've cut it open, so I've got the fill in there. I'm gonna dip it in the honey and the ice cream, and oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, here we go. Oh my goodness. I feel like pears are like my best friend. I wanna hold them, I wanna dance with them, I wanna like go whoop, put a pear there and go whoop, like that, flip it, catch it like that. I love, I love pears. Uh, so yeah, if I can make that absolutely anyone Look, anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself. Let me know how you get on. Cover your mouth when you cough. I'll see you again next time.